How to trade features with signals. Hello everyone, this is Enolami and today um topic is on how to trade features with signals. As we all know, my recommended exchange for features trading is Bybit because of its seamless interface and um very uh, user friendly and the low fee. So let's proceed. Make sure you stay tuned to the end of this video and make sure you are very attentive to listen to every bit of the information I'll be dropping. Firstly, to trade features with signals, you have to first of all determine which um, position you are going. Maybe you are going long, which is the buy, or you are going short, which, uh, which is the sell. Then thereafter, you have to determine maybe you want to use cross or isolated margin. This is it isolated margin i'm currently on an open trade on btc and as well a pending trade you can see my pending trade and this is my open position wow btc is giving me some dollars here. okay so on this um isolated or cost margin isolate let me just explain um in summing what isolated and cost margin is Isolated and cost, uh, isolated margin. Wow, wow, what is BTC doing? <laughs> Sorry, isolated and cost margin. When you are using an isolated margin, you are telling the um, exchange to use some portion of your um, capital. That is the margin you've sent, uh, you've um, assigned for that particular trade. Meaning, if you tell the exchange to use. Um, when you're using an isolated margin, you don't want um, your capital to be affected. When I mean capital, your total amount you're having in this um, available balance. The, ex, um, the trade is only going to be um, affected if it is on, uh, um, if the trade is going in the opposite direction that is not in your favor. Your margin will only be affected the exchange will not dip into this available balance that is that means you are isolating a particular portion of that trade to uh, a particular portion of your uh, margin for that trade you are not telling the exchange to take from your available balance that's the advantage of isolated margin but the disadvantage of isolated margin is that you can get liquidated fast and i mean liquidated that is your liquidation um period is always closer compared to cross for cross margin your liquidation period will be extended like the exchange has access to your available capital so they can help you you yeah, they can take out of it to fund your um liquid um to fund your trade to extend your liquidation period so you don't get liquidated um very fast but still when the trade goes against you you still have to um when the trade goes against and it's stop loss, you still have some money to lose. That's why your leverage is more important. Okay, so on this, um, after determining which one you want to use, maybe isolated. Most times I use isolated. This is it. I should be using cost on this ex on um, this trade because at least I'm having two trade active, so that one can fund another. When on cost, um cause uh, margin when before uh, a trade is on profit and the other one is on loss the one on profits will be able to sustain the one on loss that's another advantage of of um cost margin one, when you are having two trades running if one is on profit and another one is on loss you will not get liquidated fast the one on loss will be will be um lifted or let, let me just say it will be funded as an adding to the liquidity from the one on profit, just like making it um, to balance. But once you are in, uh, on isolated margin, you have you told them that you, are, you don't want them to pick out of your capital. You just want to use your uh, your margin to trade. I don't know if what I've said is um, clear. With time, when you start trading, you get to um, understand it because most of these things you have to do it practically. That's when you can be able to understand it yourself. When you put it into action, you'll be able to understand it yourself. If you don't practicalize it, you might not understand it. That's just the truth. So let me before let me just say this again. This is a running position. You can see 
positions means your trade one of your trade um uh, your active trades right order means um your pending trades that are yet to fill so on this to close this position you can either close all or close yeah this when you click on this close all you are telling them to close all available positions when you click on close by you are telling them to close each any of the positions that you are on to so this is a profit trade when you are on profit and you want to secure your profit another thing you, should, you can do is to extend your um stop loss to put your stop loss to entry so that if eventually the trade goes against you after eating some profit you can it will just close on on this uh on the entry it will not you will not lose or you neither will you gain from it you are just closing at equilibrium so to put your trade on on um to extend your stop loss after eating a profit so as to be on equilibrium you click on this position on the pos i'm clicking on this btc usdt and i'll click on my take profit and my stop loss which is this my take profit is showed in green the stop loss is in red which is twenty thousand over twenty two thousand like this so when i click on it the moment i put my entry my stop loss back to entry my entry was twenty two thousand one fifteen then I'm telling the exchange to close at my entry. You can see the expected profits, as in the expected stop loss. That's how they write it. It's zero point zero zero, meaning no loss, no gain. You can only do this when you have, uh, when you are already on take profit, when your trade is on profit already. You can't do this when you are on loss. So that is that is it okay so that is how to put your um stop loss to entering when you are when you're already on profit when they say secure your profit it means just put your stop loss on back to your entry with this you will not lose you will not gain that's it so now to use a signal after determining maybe you want to be you want to use isolated you just want some portion of your cap uh, of your margin so uh, you are just risking some portion of your margin for the trading or you are risking your entire capital for the trading which is the cost for cost you are risking your entire capital for the trading the advantages is that you you can't get liquidated fast your li uh, liquidation period is always extended on course but for isolated no it's not like that the advantages of isolated is you are risking part of your just your margin part of your margin for that trading your capital is not affected but for course your capital is affected because they will keep uh, funding it until you are out of capital so you choose when you start particularizing each of it you know which one is which one suits you better but as for me i use isolated most times i use cross when i know i'll be having two positions just like this but unfortunately i've forgotten so i'm used to my isolated magic so that's it so to use a signal you want to know if you are going long which is buy or you are going short which is sell let me use a signal as an example now this is a signal that we are having here it says btc usdt long which is buy then um most times you will not get to choose maybe um you not get signal like um cost leverage no i won't start putting cost leverage or isolated leverage you have to choose that yourself so you set your leverage we've talked about leverage so this is your entry you see entering targets 19,900 uh, 19,000 to 19,500 once that means you have to buy between 19,000 to 19,500 so meaning you can buy at 19,500 or you buy at 19,400 or you buy at 19,350 or you buy at 19,000 that is your entry so to place your entry normally 
most um signals we have to be in you have to place your entry on limit order let me explain this limit order here this limit means you are setting your entry in advance this current order means you are buying immediately conditional is not relevant because we don't even use that what we use is mostly limit order as you can see my pending trade here all this order it's they are on limit orders that means i've placed them even when i'm not available once it reaches that point the exchange will automatically buy or sell whichever order i've placed then the k uh, the trade keeps running then after whichever one comes uh, if it is take profit or stop loss the exchange will close for me so that is what limit orders does so even if i'm not online it's already set my take profit my stop loss is set as you can see everything is set here so i don't need to be online to execute this trade i've placed my position on limit order so for market order it means you are executing the trade instantly so most times you go for limit order yeah so the trade says nineteen thousand. let me assume i'm taking a trade a btc long at nineteen thousand. so i'm using this is where to i'm using this slider to determine my margin as i showed earlier so meaning i'm entering this trade with almost six dollars as you can see under the cost you use this slider to determine how much you want to put as a margin from your total available capital you see if i slide to show if i come back to the show that's it and you set your um leverage here as you can see either you put it on isolated or course and you put your leverage either you want to reduce it or you increase it so that's it then you come to um cp slash sl it means it's telling you to add your take profit or you add your stop loss so to click on adding take profit or stop loss you click on it now let's see what the take profit is from the signal now the take profit is twenty thousand um three hundred and thirteen from that take profit one either of these take profits we do so if i'm going to for take profit one i'll just put twenty thousand three hundred and thirteen if i'm going for two i'll put twenty thousand four hundred and fifty two let me let's assume i'm putting take profit two twenty thousand four hundred and fifty two so at when i get to this point this is what i will be getting this will be my profit now the stop loss is eighteen thousand one oh nine meaning that when the uh, when the trade goes against and it reaches this point the exchange should close so because of the leverage that i'm using if i should um execute this trade and the trade goes against me this will be my losses you can see eight dollar it will be more than that because of the um gas fee as well So the moment I click on open long, which is buy, or open short, which is sell. When I click on open long, and I click on confirm, you see, it has added to my pending order. I hope you guys see. So I can decide to cancel it here, or I leave it to execute. But I'm going to cancel it because I've not checked any chart. So this was a previous trade before now so not um not a, pre a current trade so i'll just cancel the trade this is just for a, an example purpose order successfully cancelled so the same thing if you are going on a short position a short position a position means you are selling just input your limit order make use of your slider to determine how much you want to use as a margin they enter your take profit and stop loss, which is the TP and SL. Then you you open the uh, you click on whichever maybe it is sell or uh, maybe it is long or short, whichever. That's it for the um 
trading with signals then trading with charts will be explained at the channel for you to know how to um, read the charts to know where your entry is and your take profit is or your stop losses so if you're just joining me for the first time please don't forget to subscribe if you are a returning subscriber thank you for watching that's all for the trading with signals for crypto course full crypto class feel free to send me a dm to join my crypto classes thank you